So, I am back. Thank you for coming in the kitchen with Cooking with the Wooders. Okay? Uh, it's a lot I have to tell you, but I don't know where to start. So, I don't know if I'm going to put it on this video or what. But, one thing I want to tell you what we're going to have today. Today, we're going to have bacon meatloaf burgers. I'm going to show you how to make those and show you how they turn out. Okay? And they are so good. And we're going to have it with some shoestring french fries. So, I'm going to show it to you, all right? Let me show it. Okay. Since this is only 4.3 pounds, 4.39 pounds of ground beef. And this is going to be our burgers. Okay? You're going to take and fix this the same way as you would fix a meatloaf. All right? Same way. You know, it's the bomb. Okay, so let me show you everything we have. Since we only have this much of ground beef, we only going to use this much of white onion. We're only going to use this much of uh, green onion. This much of bell pepper, which, which it isn't a lot, just a little bit. This much of celery. I'm going to put it in my mixer and I'm going to grind it up. Okay. We have lettuce for our burger. We have baby Swiss cheese. And we have ch sharp cheese. We have one egg. We have garlic. We're only going to use a half a teaspoon of garlic. We have chopped bacon. And this is my french fries for shoestring french fries. Look on the videos that I have. I make these shoestring french fries right here. We have uh, some breadcrumbs. We have black pepper. And we have salt. And we have the buns. These are the biggest buns. Large Enriched buns. They are big buns. They not little bitty ones, okay? So if you're gonna fix them for your babies, get you smaller ones. If you want you the big ones for yourself, get it. This doesn't cost that much. This meat was only nine dollars and some cents. These are real bacon bits, which the bacon bits are kind of big. They not in little bitty pieces, they bigger. Hundred percent bacon. Okay, I don't know if I want two or one in there. All right, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to grind up this right here. I'm going to grind this here on up, get it ready to go in the chopper and everything. So all of this here will be ready to get in that chopper. And I am going to have me a feast right here when I come back and have to fix this here up for you. So I'll be back with that after I get all this here. Okay, so now we have our ground beef. We're gonna take our ground beef out. Put our ground beef in here. Okay. Then you're gonna take and you're gonna put your vegetables in there. All right. Now you can take this here and put this on the pit. If you want it on the pit, you can take and do it like that. So you can get that smoke taste up in there if you want to do it that way. All right, but this is just something different that I'm bringing to you that I thought maybe you would like. Okay, you're going to have your egg, put that in there. Going to have you some garlic. We're only going to use us a half a teaspoon of garlic. That's going in. All right. I have us some salt in there. We're going to put us in about a teaspoon of salt. That's going in. We're going to put us about a teaspoon of black pepper. That's going in. We're gonna put us uh, some breadcrumbs in. This is a tablespoon right here. One, about two tablespoons going in. Okay. 
that's gonna go in there just like that. All right, then we got our baking bits. So that's gonna go in. I'm gonna put this whole thing of baking bits in right here. That's gonna go in. Then we're gonna mix it all up together, okay? All of this is gonna be mixed up. And this is a darn good burger. I'm not playing with you, it's darn good. It's like, okay, you got your onions in there. If you don't want onions on it, don't do it, okay? The onions are going to cook, all right? They're going to cook. I'm just telling you that. They're going to cook. Okay, we're gonna get this here mixed up in there really good. Okay, so we got all this here mixed up just like that, okay? Here's my pan right here, okay? So we have the pan here. Pan right here. Take this here. Form it up in your hand. Now, think about it. Use your brain. Think. You see how big these buns are. So you know you're going to make this a little bit bigger than your buns because you know it has to shrink, all right? You know it's gonna have to shrink. So you're gonna make this here a little bit more bigger than your buns, because when it shrinks, it's gonna shrink to the size of your bun. So just picture it in your mind, the size that you want it to be, okay? Just picture it in your mind, the size that you want this here to be, okay? It's round and it looks good, all right? So I'm gonna make the next one here, just like this. I'm gonna see how I'm gonna do this here. Probably move this here one on up here since it's gonna shrink. Move this here one on up here since it's going to shrink so I can make me some room here for this one here to go here. Okay. Got that one there. Now I can have room for... Like that. You go back. You go back in there. Put your thumb. You see your thumb? Take your thumb. Put a thumbprint in the center. Right in the center of it. Just like that. This way right here. So we know that everything is going to be cooking right. Okay, put your thumbprint right there. Then go back, get you some ketchup. Okay, put the ketchup all on top of it, just like this. Make sure the ketchup is all on top of it, just like this here, because this is how it's going to cook. Go back and spread it real evenly, because you know this the way how you do your meatloaf, okay? Don't never tell your children, because you know you can have children who don't even like ketchup. I don't like ketchup. You know, tell them it's tomato sauce. Do anything. They don't have to know. They ain't in the kitchen with you when you start cooking it. Because after you get it all fixed up and get everything on there, it's the bomb. They ain't going to never know. You do it like this. Then you go back, and we're going to stick it in the oven on 350 until it's ready. Okay, so where, where our buns are getting ready at, I mean, where, where our uh, burgers are for this. Because now we're going to get this here ready. Okay? Make sure all your water is off. Because that water be down at the bottom. Okay? I can't have all that spices. So, I'm going to put me some black pepper on there. So, make sure you put your black pepper on there. 
Make sure you put your salt on there. Now don't get too heavy handed with your salt and stuff. But make sure this right here is covered up really good. This is shoestring, but shoestring french fry. And that's how they come out looking just like shoestrings. And you cover this hair up really good with that. Okay? Shoestring french fries. The geese is what they call itself. The geese. But he would fix this hair for us. And oh my God. It would be so good when he fix it. So this is the french fries that's going to go with them burgers. Okay. Had the sound done on up here. Mm-hmm. Then you're gonna take it. I already have my, uh, I already have my uh, oil on the stove cooking. Okay. Then you're gonna take the seal. You're gonna fix it up in some flour. Put you some flour on these French fries. This is how this is how you would do it. Make a shoestring French fry. And these are some good french fries. Your children will love it. But you know what? Put your movie on or something. While well, you have to cut this hair up because they're really small. They're really small. And they will cook quick. And then you got to make sure that they're not all on top of each other. Because they're not supposed to fry like all on top of each other like that. Okay? All right. So I got all this here mixed, mixed up here. Okay, I already done fixed some, but this is how it goes. When your french fries go in now, you do them just like this here. Okay, S since they have the flour on them, they're going to want to stick. Okay, they're going to want to stick. You let them go ahead on form like this here. Let them go ahead on and cook a little bit. Then you go back in there and you mess with them, but not now. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you when. Okay, so you're gonna have them just like this here, okay? They're gonna be just like this here. So you just go ahead on in there with them. Just like this here, just loosen them up just a little bit, okay? Any way they go, they good. If they stick together, it's fine, okay? It's fine. Just make sure they don't be stuck at the bottom, okay? Then just let them go ahead on and fry on up. Cause they look good now all right okay so since i want two different type of cheeses on here i'm gonna get that one that one because this is what i want on here i want two different type of cheeses melted on here so i'm just gonna stick this back in the oven a little bit now what it is you do not want this to overcook. All right, please don't overcook it because it'll be too hard. And we don't want it to overcook because we don't want it too hard. Okay, I'm just, all I want this here to do is just for the cheese to... Okay, now I have everything right here finished up. I want to show you how this here turned out with the cheese and everything melted all on it and stuff. Oh my God, it turned out so good. Okay, bacon meatloaf burgers. Okay, so people in my family like man eggs. So we're gonna put some man eggs on here. And I toasted my buns with butter. Okay, now another trick you can do, you can take your buns, you can empty some of this juice off of there. Okay, empty this juice off of there, put it in a bowl, brush it on your buns, and then toast your buns up. When the juice done started coming up on now, just empty some of it off while it's cooking. And then take it and brush it on your buns. All right, it is excellent, excellent that way. Okay, let's see how these buns work out here. 
Uh, look at that. It fits. You see that? It fits. Look at that. It fits perfect. We made it perfect. It fits perfect. Then we're going to put us some lettuce on now. Put you some lettuce on now. If you want pickles or anything like that, put it on there. My family, them do not like pickles. And they do not like tomatoes. So, hey. Then you have this like this. Okay. That is like that. Then you got your french fries here. Your shoestring french fries there. That's what them cooked up here. These shoestring french fries. Okay. I just love how that turned out. Oh my God. It looks so good. I love it. And this right here is our shoestring and, and our bacon meatloaf burger. It turned out so good. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. And if you don't want to use, um, if you don't want to use real burger meat, use turkey. And use uh, turkey bacon. Okay, use turkey ground and turkey bacon. And it all of it turns out the same. And you'll get this, you won't get the same flavor, but you'll have that turkey bacon up in there. Okay, so try that and cut your turkey bacon up. It's all, and cook it. Okay, so, so, all I want to do is tell you have a beautiful one. Enjoy this burger, because I am, me and my family will. And all I want to do is tell you, bon appetit, baby.